Dedicated to the grind and dedicated to you. That's why we do what we do. This is Power Grind Sports. Lennox Lewis criticizes Tyson Fury's overconfidence in his defeat to Alexander Usyk. Let's talk about it. Remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. We got to remind you to turn your dedication into domination. We got to give you positive energy and information. This is what's hot in the world of sports and you know i'm certified in hip-hop sports entertainment and we get ready to talk about tyson fury's defeat to alexander Usyk in riyadh saudi arabia because it's sparking a lot of analysis a lot of constructive criticism particularly from a boxing legend and the last undisputed, we talking about the living legend, Lennox Lewis. Now, Tyson Fury, he lost the WBC title to an unbeaten Ukrainian. And, of course, he also lost his record. You know, He lost the O, and Alexander Usyk became the first undisputed heavyweight champion in the four-belt era in the heavyweight division. Yeah, man, it was something to see. Now, Usyk had a late surge, right? And he got a split decision victory. Two judges scored it for Usyk. One scored it for Tyson Fury. And I'm telling you, it was so close. It was a great fight. But you could see the momentum shifting from Tyson Fury to Alexander Usyk. Now, Lennox Lewis, he was the last undisputed champion before this historic bout between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk, and he pointed out that Tyson Fury's game plan was extremely flawed. He said that, look, basically Tyson Fury was in there fighting like he had won rounds that he didn't win. If you got a close round, you got to act like that is a loss. You know what I'm saying? If you have a close round in a fight with another opponent, Chalk it up as a loss. You got what I'm saying? Especially if you're leaving it to the judges. Now, from the opening rounds, Fury appeared so confident. You know, he was taunting uh, Alexander Usyk, and he was landing some significant shots. You got what I'm saying? He really seemed like he was in control, especially like in, the, in round six where he hurt Alexander Usyk. I was like, oh, my God. But you could see everything starting to shift. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? And... It was an extreme turn of events. I'm going to say in the eighth round, then the ninth round, and then the tenth round, I was like, oh, yeah, I think I think Alexander Usyk might just take this. You got what I'm saying? Now, Fury, he is known to be showboating and just, you know, just he's just a slick boxer at times, even though he's a very, very gigantic guy, but he's really, really slick as it applies to boxing. But... You know, even in the, in the press conference after the fight, he was like, look, I was in the ring. I was having fun. I was loving it. You know, he said, I thought I was bossing the fight. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I was like, okay, I see what you're saying. He also, um, he being Tyson Fury, he also said that if his corner had a said in the final round, hey, go out there and finish the fight, then he would have finished it because he thought that he was doing so good. But, you know, he was saying that it was a close fight. He tried his best, but he came up short. And, but my thing is, if you think you're doing so good and you think you could, if all you got to do, all they got to do is tell you, hey, go finish the fight and then get him out of there, then you would have got him out of there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, come on, if you really can get him out of there, trust me. You're not, you're not trying to, you're not, there's no overtime in boxing. So if you're trying to get him out of there every time, you're going to get him out of there. So I don't think he could have got him out of there. I just don't think he could have. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. But what I will say about um, Tyson Fury is he's known for just being really resilient. You got what I'm saying? And, man, he's recovering from uh, a lot of those heavy knockdowns that, you know, that he suffered from facing Deontay Wilder, Francis Ngannou. I'm just saying, man, it's a lot of rounds that's left in there, man. You just leave parts of yourself in that ring every single time you step in that ring. So, man, shouts out to Tyson Fury for doing what he had to do. But even bigger shouts out to Alexander Usyk for getting Tyson Fury off of that. Oh, you got what I'm saying? 
Now, Tyson Fury's defeat to Alexander Usyk, of course, has led to a lot of criticism from so many different sides, especially on social media. Let me know what you think about Tyson Fury losing to Alexander Usyk. Um, the living legend Lennox Lewis and other boxers, you know, they believe that Tyson Fury was overconfident and he was showboating, and that contributed to his loss. Now, Usyk's late, latest uh, comeback secure, to secure a... Uh, um, a split decision victory over Tyson Fury, especially with knocking him down in the ninth round, man. Come on, man. That's just been whew, that's been something. And it's also a point of controversy because the referee, he just he stepped in there, he was touching on Alexander Uzi. He was trying to jump in there. He had an extended count. It looked very, very crazy. I don't know what that referee was doing. You know, I don't know if he was paid off or nothing, but I know that it looked very, very Hmm, suspicious. I don't know if that's a word. You know I'm an eighth grade dropout, but, you know, I think it's a word. But um, I'm getting ready to get out of here, but peep this, though. In the world of sports, just like life, because I always tell people life is boxing and boxing is life. You know what I'm saying? So, But in this world of sports, you know what I'm saying, in life, you know, overconfidence is like a double-edged sword. So Tyson Fury's recent defeat against Alexander Usyk, I want you to use it, especially if Lennox Lewis was telling the truth and his assessment is 100%. And I want you to use it to let it remind you that even the most skilled and the most confident individuals can falter if they underestimate their opponent. Or in life, you can fail if you underestimate the situation that you're in you got what i'm saying so it's crucial to stay focused and to adapt to uh a, a changing circumstance you know what i'm saying because as you're evolving in life the situations and circumstances are consistently changing so you have to be really flexible and never assume victory never assume that you are farther ahead than you really are you got what i'm saying never think that you won until that win is in your hand you got what i'm saying so this is a lesson you know it, it ain't just for athletes you know what i'm saying it's just for everybody who face challenges in life whether it's a it's your personal life whether it's your professional life you gotta always be prepared you gotta stay humble and you got to stay focused. You got to keep pushing forward. And even when you think you won, you know what I'm saying? Even when you think you won and you see the finish line, you have not won until you have gotten past that finish line. You got what I'm saying? Because it's all about the consistent effort that you're taking, about the, the vigilance that you have, and then having that focus. And all of those elements will lead you to success. Now, look, when I say these things to you, I'm not reading from a script. I'm not um, talking to um, some magical person, you know, in the sky or in the ground. I'm not. I am talking to you as you're listening to this. And I know my sentences are not perfect sentences, but this is what I believe. I believe that with the right type of motivation, discipline, determination, perseverance and i'm gonna keep saying this stuff over and over you can't achieve so i gotta jump out of here with a positive moment of motivation and that's my positive moment of motivation i'm um, power grind sports on everything we talking this boxing right here so check me out at power grind sports all day every day power grind boxing all day every day look i talk about tennis i talk about golf i talk man on this sports channel man i'm trying to talk about everything 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 okay anyway i want to um encourage you to turn your dedication into domination and stay on the grind i'm getting ready to jump out of here i'll talk to you later peace